If you are looking to unlock the new Lapa SMG in Cold War or Warzone, look no further. Hey, what's going on guys? How we doing today? Welcome back to another video. The haunting event started in Call of Duty and with it comes a new SMG, the Lapa SMG. And in today's video, I'm going to go over the quickest, fastest, easiest ways possible to unlock this SMG. If you guys want to show me some support, be sure to hit that like button. Also, if you have not done so yet, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell for post notifications. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys found this video helpful and yeah, let's get to it. Okay guys, so as I was saying in the intro, the new haunting event started. With it came a new SMG, the Lapa SMG. Now to unlock the base gun for this SMG, you have to complete the haunting challenges that come with this new mid-season update type thing. Now there are only a total of nine challenges to do, and you also have the option of completing them in Warzone or Cold War, Cold War being multiplayer or zombie. So you have a lot of options on ways you can complete this. Obviously, if you don't even own Cold War, your only option is to do it in Warzone. Now me personally, I unlocked all these challenges doing it through Cold War multiplayer since I do not have zombies downloaded at the moment. Now honestly, if you want to do it through Warzone, my one friend that uh, I play with, he did all the challenges through Warzone. We played for like an hour and a half and he got all of them done without even trying to do them. So if you just play Warzone for a couple of hours and you pay attention to the challenges you have to do, you should be able to get them done pretty fast. All right, so if we start with the first challenge, Happy Haunting, playing complete five matches in multiplayer or zombies in the Haunting Event playlist. This one is super straightforward. Just play five matches in multiplayer in any of the Haunting Event related playlists and you will get this done immediately. All right, now moving on to the second challenge. This one is Death Toll. Get 200 multiplayer eliminations in Nuketown Halloween 24 seven or destroy pumpkin heads in zombies now like i said i don't have zombies downloaded so that's why i didn't do it in that if you have it if you have zombies downloaded that honestly might just be an all-around easier time for you to do some of these challenges but in terms of the multiplayer portion of the challenge this one is also super straightforward just hop into the nuketown halloween 24 7 playlist go to town get 200 kills it doesn't take that long if you want to be even more efficient with your time you can purchase the lapa smg in the shop the blueprint of it even though it won't unlock the base gun you can slap it on while you're doing these challenges and you will start to level the gun up while you're unlocking the base gun so you you get uh, rewards in both aspects if you do that all right so the third challenge this one is you'll never get out alive finish top three in scream deathmatch or successfully exville in hollows eve outbreak now for the scream deathmatch this one, it's there's not many uh, easy ways to go about it. I got it on my first try, actually, so I, I, I think I got kind of lucky there. My biggest tip of advice for the Scream Deathmatch, just honestly, hide in plain sight. A lot of the hiding spots I picked, I kind of just laid down in kind of an open area where there was some grass, and I was the one of the last people to be found every round. So yeah, don't put too much thought into where you're hiding. Honestly, the hiding out in the open is better sometimes. They won't notice you. All right, so next one is the Stay Back Challenge. Get 30 multiplayer eliminations in Infected or eliminate special or elite zombies or enemies in Zombies. So the easiest way I went about doing this one in Infected, find no matter what map it gets picked, Find an open area where you can put your back against a wall or something or in a corner. Uh, wait for a couple people to die and you'll have a pretty easy time getting infected kills. Just make sure that you are constantly strafing left and right because the infected do have throwing knives or throwing hatchets or whichever one they are. And if you get hit by those, you're screwed. So yeah, find an open area where you can have your back against a wall. Uh, make sure you're avoiding the throwing hatchets and you should be good. It may, it may take a couple games, but this one's not hard either. You just got to get 30 infected kills. All right, so the next one we got is Butcher's Bill. You got to get 10 melee weapon kills in multiplayer or earn Butcher medals in zombies, which is five rapid melee kills now. Now, the easiest way that I found for me to get melee kills in multiplayer uh, this is how I did it to get DM Ultra on my melee weapons. Hop into quick play. Make sure you're playing hardcore Nuketown because then the knife will be a one hit kill. I'm pretty sure it's not a one hit kill in uh, standard core. Hop into a hardcore Nuketown map and with your class, make sure you got smoke grenades on there. If you really want to have a really easy time, put uh, the uh, danger close perk on so you spawn with two smoke grenades. And basically all you got to do is just throw smokes, get to the other side of the map. If you're on team deathmatch or kill confirm, this will be a lot easier because the spawns will be different. But yet use smokes to get to the other side of the map, 
get behind the players, and that's the easiest way to get up close and get melee kills. Alrighty, so on to probably the most annoying challenge out of these nine challenges, at least for me. This is the Trick or Treat Challenge, open one scare package in multiplayer or zombies. Now the difference between a normal care package and a scare package is basically just the color of the scare package is orange, and when it gets dropped off, the helicopter has Halloween type music playing. The annoying part of this challenge is that it is completely RNG based. It's random, so you can call in 20 care packages like I did and not get a scare package. But so honestly, my best piece of advice with this one is just like the last one, play on a hardcore nuke town. That will be the easiest. Put on your best weapon, the best weapon you have to get kills the fastest. And last thing in the loadout that you are using, make sure it, you have the assassin perk on as it gives you more score for taking people down that are on kill streak. So you'll be able to get your uh, care package score streak faster. Oh, and try your best not to die because you get score streaks insanely fast if you are on kill streaks yourself, if you don't die. So yeah, the less you die, the faster you'll get care packages. <laughs> All right, guys, so moving on to the next one. This is one of the easiest ones you can do. It's do you believe in ghosts get 50 eliminations while using the ghost perk in multiplayer or kills enemies while cloaked in the aether shroud and zombies so obviously just throw the ghost perk on hop into hardcore nuke town like always and just go to town put on your best class and all you have to do is get 50 kills while having the ghost perk on super simple now moving on to the eighth challenge this one is also kind of easy it's a living nightmare get three multiplayer kills without dying three times or earn carnage medals in zombies 10 rapid kills honestly same advice as the last challenge hop into hardcore nuke town put on your best class and just try not to die get three kills the second you get the third kill kill yourself or just get killed respawn get three kills again kill yourself respawn super simple super fast nice spot to camp if you don't really want to die that much is to sit in one of the windows in nuke town just make sure you're constantly keeping an eye on the window across because sometimes people can hop in there instantly without you noticing and insta pop you in the face so sit sit on the windows or sit on a heady like the jeep in the center of the map all those are good spots if you don't want to die okay now moving on to the ninth and final challenge this one is playing with fire you got to get five multiplayer kills with fire damage or earn fire damage multi-kill medals in zombies so the way i went about this one is i personally did it using molotovs i hopped into hardcore nuketown like always i had molotovs put on the uh, lawbreaker or danger close uh card on that lets you have two molotovs on spawn and all all I did was basically, there are certain spots on Nuketown that are really popular spots for people to sit and camp in, like the garages, some of the doorways on the entrances of the houses or the windows. Now, every time I ran by those areas, I just chucked them all top, tried to perfectly place it where people usually like to uh, prop themselves up. And after just a few games of running around and just trying to throw them all tops in those popular spots, I got the challenge done pretty fast. Another option you have that I didn't personally do, but I think it will also work is if you go over to your score streaks, there is the flamethrower score streak. I'm pretty sure this counts as fire kills and you only have to get five and it's a pretty low score streak. It's only 1500 score. It's 500 more than a spy plane. So I would suggest uh, if you're having trouble getting kills with the Molotovs, throw this flamethrower on. Once you get the flamethrower kill streak, make sure you also have smoke grenades on. So throw a smoke grenade down, try and get into the enemy's spawn and go to town with the flamethrower. Well, this brings us to the end of today's video. If you guys found it helpful, remember to leave a like and hit that subscribe button. Also leave a comment down below. If there are some ways that I didn't mention in this video that are easy ways to get some of these challenges done, definitely leave them down below in the comments for me and everyone else who's doing these challenges to see them. Maybe it'll help them out. As always, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, dope rest of your week. Remember, stay blessed, not stressed. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.